The Indiana legislature has overridden the governor's veto of a bill placing new restrictions on transgender student athletes. Yeah, starting this summer, transgender girls will no longer be allowed to play on a girls' school sports team. CBS4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow is live at the State House right now with more on today's vote. Kristen. Well, Bob and Debbie, lawsuits to try to stop this law from taking effect are already being filed. Today, most Republican lawmakers voted in favor of overriding the governor's veto. And since Republicans hold a supermajority in the Indiana legislature, they had more than enough votes needed to meet that simple majority vote to override the governor's veto. Now, under this new law, anyone identified as male at birth will no longer be allowed to play on a girls sports team at a K through 12 school. Supporters of the law have argued it's about ensuring fair competition in girls sports, while opponents have argued the legislation unfairly targets transgender kids and is unnecessary. Democrats and others who have been critical of this legislation accuse Republican supporters of funding lawsuits against the state and this after afternoon, the ACLU announced it has filed a lawsuit on behalf of a 10-year-old transgender girl who will no longer be able to play on her school softball team. Today we spoke with Democratic and Republican legislative leaders about the possibility of this kind of legal action. We got a supermajority that came back today and cost the taxpayers a lot of money, not only to pay our per diem, but also to pay for a lawsuit that they know this very same language has been challenged in other states and has been found to be unconstitutional. Protecting girls' sports, that's what our focus of the bill is. And, and again, we feel good. Attorney General, I understand, feels good about defending this if there is court action. And, and uh, we just think, we believe it's the right public policy for Indiana. And Indiana's attorney general has promised to defend the state against any lawsuits. The law is set to take effect July 1st. Now, earlier this year, the IHSAA expressed support for the governor's veto of this bill. We have reached out to the IHSAA for comment on its next steps after lawmakers overrode the governor's veto today. For number live this evening at the State House, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you. And before